My name is Dr. Kafo Chidumeje, the Lupus Day. I would like to teach you how not to pray. You know, I've been to churches where during some prayer sessions, you'll be hearing them shouting, let all my enemies die. Let my, all my enemies die. My enemies must die. My enemies must die. <laughs> hey. Okay, try reading Deuteronomy chapter 26, verse 27. You can go up to, you can start from 23. Deuteronomy chapter 32, from verse 26 to 27. You can go up to verse 21. Deuteronomy 32, verse 26 and 27. You can go up and start from 21. Now, for those praying for their enemies to all die, I want to pass an information to you. You know, eh, there are certain sins that you are doing that the reward is death. There are actually certain sins you've been doing, certain wrong things you've been doing, of which the reward is failure. The reward is that you must fail in your business. The reward is that you must die. The reward is that you must your wife will not be able to take to, to, to give birth to children. That is the reward of that's the repercussion, the reward for that sin you've done. But you've done those sin, and your wife is still giving birth to children. You've done those sin, and you're not yet dead. You've done those sin, and you've yet not failed in your business. Let me now tell you why. You have likely not met the repercussions of those sins you've been doing. The answer is in Deuteronomy chapter 32, from verse 26 and 27. If you go to that chapter, you will see where God was talking about what he would do to the Israelites. That they left him and started pursuing other lower gods that have not done anything good for their fathers that he will spend all his arrows on them that he will slaughter the virgins slaughter the old, old, elderly, elderly ones slaughter the suckling that he will make their existence to end in all the world then he added this phrase we are it not that he feared the provocation of their enemies lest their enemies will judge a miss and claim the victory and say it is our hand that has done this not the hand of God so because of that God did not scatter them anymore because of that God did not wipe them away anymore because of that God didn't finish them anymore so now you see why you have been doing all these things and you have not failed even though you are made even though failure is meant to be the reward of that sin because God is afraid of your enemy that enemy you want to die. God is afraid that if he allows you to fail because of this thing you've done, that your enemy will claim the victory. That your enemy will not praise him. Rather, he will praise whatever useless God he has been worshipping. Maybe some people have gone to uh, oracles and dropped you, dropped your name. People have used charm and, 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 they are, and they are pursuing you with charm. And God knows that if he punishes you because of these sins, this your enemies will claim that it is this their charm that is working. The same enemies you want to die. <laughs> so my brother, when next you pray for your enemies to die, remember that Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 26 to 27. So it's not left for you to decide which prayer to make about your enemies. God bless you. I still remember Dr. King, Dr. Kafuchi, Dr. King, the Lupus Day.